Hi there. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi YouTube viewers. I got tagged for the YouTube game, the uh, Five Facts game, and I gave it some thought and frankly, you know, thank you to Five Facts doesn't sound like a very random exercise. So I've come up with five non-random facts. Um, I was tagged by Eliza, my girlfriend from Minnesota. Hey. Um, so, uh, because I'm short on time um, and I have a theme for my facts, let's get started. Non-random fact number one. When I was five years old, I fell in love. It's true. I fell in love with the, wait for it, Betty Crocker Easy Bake Oven. Um, it was all the rage in the 60s and I was um, a kid who saw it at the Sears and Roebuck and for months and months and months it was the only thing in the world I wanted. I thought I'd die if I didn't get it. Um, but my dad was in school and I was the oldest of a lot of kids yet to come and uh, there was no money for a big crockery easy bake oven and I kind of knew that deep inside. Um, even so, and you probably get where this is going there. Christmas morning came and I went downstairs and under the tree there was that oven. Um, so, uh, point behind non-random fact number one, uh, that was the first and most memorable experience in my life that brought home to me what a parent's job is. A parent's job is to make whatever sacrifice you can reasonably make for your kids. And I know my folks sacrificed hard to put that oven under the tree. <laughs> Non-random fact. Number two, I moved every single year until I hit high school. Every school year was a different state, was a different city, was a different school. And the only constant in all of that is every summer, we went to stay with grandma and grandpa in eastern Montana, where I ran with cousins, lots of cousins, hundreds of relatives, um, in a country, big sky country, far from the mountains, far from the cattle lands, uh, where life is kind of hard scrabble. And I had cousins who still had outhouses and we would hunt for agates on the banks of the um, a shallow, muddy river and shoot rattlesnakes in the hills and stay up late watching the stars and decorate our bikes for the 4th of July parade. So I could go on and on about what it was like to be a kid in that place in that time um, but I don't have enough time for that so what's the point behind non-random fact number two uh, family matters they took my back they guarded me they took my side even the ones who I think are numbskulls you know every family has them no matter what I knew I could count on them um, and so every year when September came and I went to a new school I did it with a foundation. Um, Non-random fact number three. I landed in high school uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. We got my first circle of girlfriends. And the center of that circle was my friend Lori, who was in a wheelchair because she had muscular dystrophy. She'd been in it since sixth grade, at, you know. But she was a stitch and she was hilarious. She had a godfather, whose last name was Sam Maple, and we all got together one night and committed petty crime. We uh, went looking on Maple Street, a maid drag in Omaha, Nebraska, for a sign, a street sign. We found one that we thought we could get down. We all got out of the car. <laughs> we all stood on the arms of Lori's wheelchair to get up to that sign and try to take it down. And every time a car came rushing on by, we'd all dive on the ground, trying to not be seen, leaving Lori on the side of a road in a wheelchair. <laughs> in the dead of night, like no one was going to think that was odd. Uh, it seems minor compared to the kind of trouble kids can get into today, but it was um, memories made. So random fact number three, friends count. So first three facts tell you that I was raised on another planet. It really was Ozzy and Harriet, it really was. The 1950s, even though it wasn't, it wasn't. It was the 60s and 70s. And um, parents, family, and friends were the foundation uh, for me growing up. Um, but you know, all of that is not insulation from disappointments in life. So, random fact number four: I wanted to be a scientist. I was really good in math and science, top of my grade. But 
I didn't want to be geek girl in yet another new school. And I had guidance counselors who thought that girls didn't do math and they didn't do science. They did liberal arts and they studied English and they became school teachers. Um, I'm not, by the way, a school teacher. I'm not, by the way, a kindergarten teacher as it happens. I'm something else entirely. But um, so I didn't do it. I wasn't strong enough to assert myself. I wasn't strong enough to do what moved me. I, you know, if you go to my channel you're, and look at what I've saved as favorites, you're going to see that um, women's issues are, you know, a very big thing to me and something I'm very active in in my personal life both domestically and abroad, in particular access of young girls to education in a lot of countries where that's not readily available. Um, and maybe that's because I'm a child of the 60s and 70s, but I feel passionately about that. And I can, I, I, I just really, lesson behind random, non-random fact number four, please. You're smart, you're talented, do what you're good at, do what moves you, do it even if no one else, whatever that happens to be. Okay, not a lot of time left. Got to stop, watch going. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, Non-random fact number five. Uh, this one will interest a lot of the younger viewers there. I have a piercing. I do. I have a, my navel's pierced. You want to see it? I was like, three children here. Be kind, okay? It's my abdomen. So anyway, there it is. <laughs> Just to prove to you, I wasn't lying. Uh, that's not really the point. Non-random fact number five is why do I have a navel piercing? Um, I have a chronic debilitating illness. It's going to get worse. It's not curable. It won't kill me. But sometimes it really sucks. And back in 1996, I had a bad episode with it. And I, I got really, really angry. I felt betrayed by my body um, and I felt the need to start over and form a new relationship with my body um, and so I marked it. You know something, we are all so much more than the appearance other people see. Um, we are more than our skin color. We are more than our weight. We are more even than our biological gender. The person we are inside isn't perfectly conveyed by any of that. Who and what you are, you have to forecast a little bit to people using this as a canvas. That's why we all do makeup. That's why if you're 40 years old and you want to wear shimmer, go for it. That's why you put on um, my rock and roll mom t-shirt that I wear because you're sending a message to people that you're more than this. So point behind random fact, non-random fact, sorry, number five, um, is if you look in the mirror and regularly, regularly criticize yourself for anything you see there, Talk to somebody, think about it, write to me, whatever works for you. Um, you've got to establish a relationship with your body that is one that is healthy and understands that this and this isn't who you are. And that is almost the time I have left. So I have to nominate or I have to, I have to uh, tag five people. So I'll put them there. But I'm tagging home spa goddess Denise because Denise, the only reason I did this video was because of the comment you left for me about my children. Okay. I'm tagging Dennis, M -A Tennis, M-N-K-Y, ninth grade. Tori, you're tagged. Uh, Natface08, you're tagged. Jack, Luke for Heather. Do that video you keep telling me you're going to do. And Rusha Baby, you're tagged. Um, love you.